You still here with your homeboy first. This is the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. That is, put it on something. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing to hit that button. You don't dig me. And make sure you share with all your people. You feel me? Jack, stay homecoming. It's here. Folks about to be turning up all week long. You understand me? My sister already told me. <laughs> She already know a lot of kids ain't fit to be in class. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, shout out to my sister again, Professor Bear Jackson. Um, uh, my young boy Shelby Brooks, he's up there right now. I got a lot of youngins up there, actually. Justin Love up there. Oh, uh, my girl Gabby. You know, I got a lot, a lot of youngins up there right now. They about to enjoy themselves. But this weekend we got a football game. We got a football game, America. Jackson State versus Campbell. This is the one a lot of folks been waiting on. This is the one a lot of folks been talking about. This is the one in which a lot of Jackson State haters say, JSU will fall. Well, let me tell y'all a story. Let me tell y'all a story. Can I tell y'all a story real quick? About a boxer by the name of Jack Johnson. If you don't know America, Jack Johnson was the first black heavyweight champion of the world uh this is in the early 1900s okay racism bad right now imagine what it was in the early 1900s and when jack johnson won a title white america lost their damn minds they just couldn't deal with a black man being heavyweight champion of the world you understand See, to be heavyweight champion of the world was the biggest thing in all of sports at the time. They couldn't handle it. So they were begging for a great white hope. All these great white hopes, these were supposed to be opponents that come through and put Jack Johnson in his place by taking the title away from this black man and giving it back to who it's truly supposed to belong to. They didn't like Jack Johnson because he was brash. He was audacious. He was loud. He talked shit. He didn't just knock you out. He talked shit while he was knocking you out. They didn't like him. Okay. That's what Campbell is right now. Campbell is the great white hope. Campbell is every JSU haters dream. They are hoping that Campbell can put Jackson State in its place. They are hoping that Campbell can shut Jackson State fans up, can humble Coach Prime, can prove me wrong, because I said, book it, that we going undefeated. They are the great white hope. Hey, they are PWI. But you even got HBCU grads, HBCU purists. I'm talking about HBCU folks who, uh, uh, hell, want to take your black card away from you if you didn't step foot on a PWI camp. You even got some of those folks. Don't be rooting for Campbell this weekend. How did that happen? How did Campbell come to gain this stature? How did they become the great white hope? This is how. They beat North Carolina Central for their day team. And from that moment, everybody, whoo. Now, coming into the season, you know, uh, some people were anticipating to get the Campbell game. But also coming into the season, you had some people out there saying, fam, you was going to be the team that smacked Jack State. Okay? So there was a few games on the schedule where, where folks say, yeah, they going to get you. But after that fam, you game, you know, some folks kind of dialed that back. But after Campbell beat North Carolina Central, and they beat them now, they beat them, 48 to 18. They beat them by 30. You understand? Who the drum beat started. But let's look at something. Okay, can we look at something real quick? 
Let's look at some. Let's look at some numbers. Right now, Jackson State University is ranked number six in the country at the FCS level. Okay. Campbell is unranked. They received one vote. One vote. That's tied with Hampton. Hampton received one vote. Okay? Y'all wouldn't be thinking Hampton was going to whoop Jack State there. I don't think you would. To put that further in context, North Carolina Central, who they beat, received 48 votes to be ranked. Fam, you, who Jackson State smacked, got 11 votes. Okay? Now, you might be wondering, hey, sh- how in the hell North Carolina Central going to get votes while Campbell whooped them? Like, it don't make sense. Maybe people are looking at that win as a fluke. Maybe people are looking at that win as an aberration. I don't know. I'm not a voter. I don't have a vote. Okay? I'm just, I'm just letting y'all know the facts here. Okay? Let's look at scoring defense. Jack State University has given up 9.5 points per game this year. That's ranked number one in the entire nation at the FCS level. Uh, in comparison, Campbell has given up 25.3 points per game. That ranks number 48. Okay? Now, we do know uh, – well, you can argue that part of that is Campbell so far has played a tougher schedule. Okay, you want to make that argument, you can make that argument. I would say Jackson State's defense has been dominant the past two years, but hey, you can make you can make that argument if you like. Okay. In terms of scoring offense, Jack State uh has been putting up 44 points per game on average. That's number four in the nation. All right, Campbell in comparison. Been putting up 30.5 points per game. That's number 32 in the nation. Again, you might say the competition has something to do with that. You may argue that. All right. I told you who Campbell beat that got everybody like, yeah, they're going to get him. But they lost to number 13, currently number 13, William and Mary, 37 to 21. Okay. Now look what I just said. William and Mary is ranked 13th in the country right now. And they beat Campbell by 16 points. Jackson State University is ranked number six. So people want to compare Jackson State to North Carolina Central when in actuality they probably need to be comparing them more so to William and Mary. Okay. Now in another game, Campbell beat Charleston Southern. 34 to 28. Okay. So beat him by a touchdown. But here's the thing Charleston Southern is currently one and five. I mean, they just won a game 24 to 23 versus Bryant. But can I interest you in Charleston Southern and Bryant? No, I mean, Charleston Southern didn't, didn't have a few nail biters there. You know, they had this close game against Campbell. They had uh, other close ones. Maybe they, you know. They barely beat them. It seems like it might have tightened up at the end there. Okay. But they beat them by six. People bring up recruiting classes. Okay. And as it stands right now, based on 24-7 sports, uh, as it stands right now for the 2023 class, uh, Campbell is ranked as the 68th class and Jack State is ranked number 100. Okay, but again, that's the 2023 class. Them folks ain't finna be on the field. Not sad. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back to 2021. 2021, Jack State University had the number 55 class in the whole country. Number 55. Okay. Campbell had 199. This is by 24 7 Sports now. 2022, Jack State had number 75. Campbell had 118. See, them people going to be on the field. Them the folks that are going to be on the field. Okay? Now, a lot of folks are excited about what Campbell is doing right now with the 2023 class. And they should be. Number 68 uh, for FCS uh, school. 
that's damn good. But for the folks that's going to be on the field, Jackson State has had a class that's 13 spots better than that and had a class that's just seven spots lower than that. That's what's about to be on the field. You understand? Not to mention that probably the number one player in all of the country, Travis Hunter, probably finna make his debut during this homecoming game. Okay? So, why do I say all that? Y'all, it look like we should win this game going away. It looks like not only should we win this game, it looks like we should beat the shit out of, out of Campbell. And it looks like if Campbell uh, defeats us, if Campbell makes it even, even if they make it close, that we won't be playing up to our standards. Again, there's a vast difference in the last two recruiting classes. And recruiting is the lifeblood of college football. So we ought to whoop their ass, okay? In terms of scoring the ball, in terms of defending, we ought to beat their ass. This is our fucking homecoming. People playing on packing the vet. We ought to beat their ass. All this hate. Everybody building Campbell up to be this boogeyman. It reminds me of the shit. The fam you. Fam you. Last year, we barely beat them. We beat them seven to six. So all from that moment, Rest of the year, people were saying, oh, next year, next year, next year. Then sure enough, we lost South Carolina State. A lot of folks were thinking, fam, you was going to get us. So we came to that game motivated, and we did some work. But God damn it, that's how I need the Jack State Tigers this weekend. That's what I need. That's what I need. Because, see, Jack Johnson – Used to face down all them great white hopes. And there were folks in the crowd, folk, folks carrying pistols. Folks wanted to kill this man for whooping these boys. Sometimes after his fight, black people throughout the country would get killed because he would whoop boys. That's, that's the level of vitriol that was out there for this man. And he did not give a fuck. He went to that ring and whooped ass. Now, finally, at some point, somebody got him. So Campbell could win this game. It's quite possible. Finally, somebody got Jack Johnson. They used to play, they, they, I mean, they, they used to fight much longer than 12 rounds back then. They, they, I think they might have got him in round 26 or something. So who knows? We If we turn the ball over, we have dumb penalties. I mean, Shadur threw two picks last week. Um, let's say we muff kicks and fumble, do all kinds of – it's possible. But God damn it, it ain't likely that we will be humbled this weekend. Put it on so. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?